shooting is a really big topic in NBA 2K25 right now. This is really the first 2K where I feel like shooting comes down to your thumb and some things under the hood rather than an animation, rather than a jump shot base. Now, of course, animations really help, right? Especially those animations that have really easy visual cues or animations that help you shoot faster or release the ball faster. But once again, I do recommend rhythm shooting and I made fun of this in my rhythm shooting video, but I definitely recommend you get your hot spots because getting your hot spots will help you shoot better and it's night and day. So if you don't know, you can check your hot spots on your 2K card. You will see red spots, blue spots, probably purple spots if you got them lethal. We'll talk about that later in the video. But these work online. If you have a hot spot and you shoot from it online, you're going to receive a small boost. If you have a neutral spot or a cold spot, that might be detrimental to your game. Not gonna lie to you. So let me go ahead and show you how to get your hot spots. Now there are three ways to get hot spots on NBA 2K25. The first way is the art of shooting. You can get up to three hot spots here. I recommend doing this when you need to turn your red hot zones to purple or lethal. It's definitely useful, but I do want to dedicate this video to people that don't have any hot zones, or maybe you have cold zones that you need to turn to hot zones. So for that, I definitely recommend the street ball courts. The street ball courts are really good, man. They were good on 2K24, and they're still good on NBA 2K25. You can do this to get badges. You can do this to get overall. This is how I hit 99 overall really fast. But you can also do this to get your hot spots because the street ball courts are on a really low difficulty. You can just shoot over people all you want as long as you play against tiny guards. So for that, I recommend going to the dunes and playing against Danny Dunkman, get into your hot spot and just shoot it over them. Now they do play pretty tight defense in the dunes, but it doesn't matter because once again, they're not going to get a real contest. But if you're not used to it, sometimes the speed and visual cue of your jump shot will change just a little bit. And it may cause you to miss a few shots that you should probably make. And you don't want that because you do have to shoot 10 or so shots at a pretty high percent to turn the cold spot to neutral and then turn that neutral spot to hot. So I do like the sand dunes. I do like the street ball courts, but there is an even easier way to do this. And I'm going to explain that right now. And that's the my career mode, man. My career mode, once again, I only use it to get overall, get badges, and to get hot spots. And let me tell you, it is really good for hot spots, man. It always has been. I feel like it always will be. And so look, man, I do need a hot spot at the top of the key. I'm gonna show you how I get this hot spot really quick just to prove that it works. So first off, you wanna change your settings to rookie five minute quarters. Therefore, you can just shoot over people and shoot at a really high percentage. Playing on rookie is definitely the easiest way to get hot spots, and you're going to probably have to do this multiple games. And so just put it on rookie, bro. Put that pride to the side, man. So look, once again, I need a hot spot at the top of the key. I need them a few places actually, but we're going to start at the top of the key. I've been shooting online, I'm cooked. And so look, all I have to do is walk up, stand here, call for the ball, and I'm going to knock down shots. Now I do this for the entire game, but I feel like you don't have to. Once again, I feel like you just need about 10 to 15 shots at a really high field goal percentage, and it will give you a hot spot that you can use online. But just to make sure, I'm doing this for the entire game. Top of the key shots. You see, if you play on rookie, they're never gonna press you. They're never gonna change your jump shot. And you'll be able to knock these shots down pretty consistently. And this is why I like it more than the street ball courts. And this is why it's more useful than art of shooting. Now, if you need to turn a hot spot from red to purple, definitely go to the art of shooting. But if you just need hot spots or you need to get rid of cold spots, I think my career on rookie five minute quarters is the way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of the game here. You see that I spent the entire game shooting from the top of the key and I have to repeat this from mid range. So it won't take long, but you can see at the end of the game, I check my hot spots and it is now red at the top of the key. So now when I jump online and shoot from the top of the key, I won't be, no, I'll still be 50, but that's just how 2K25 is. I won't be 20 though. I won't be 30, I'll be 50 at least because I had that boost from the hot zone. So if you haven't got your hot zones and you play online or you didn't know about hot zones and how they work online, once again, shoot from the hot zone, you get a slight boost and that slight boost can be a game changer. So I hope this video was able to help some of you all out, especially with shooting on NBA 2K25, because <laughs> I see the tweets, man. I see the comments, I see the videos. Um, that's a hot topic for 2K25. 
Not only that, but if you need help with shooting or maybe your bill, maybe your badges, you can use NBA 2K Lab, code D-Man. Hey, shout out to NBA 2K Lab, man. Giving me a code, get you 20% off on your 2K Lab premium purchase. And if you know, you know, 2K Lab will give you the rundown, man. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help somebody out. Somebody, just one, please, just one. You all be easy and take care. Peace.